If you clicked on this thumbnail, probably it means that you would like to take pictures like the thumbnail. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. Welcome to this channel. My name is Martin Botvidsson and we are going to shoot a picture. I want to create a beautiful picture because you know you need to have super beautiful pictures in your portfolio portfolio because there are so many people that can take great photos so you need to be up there with them you need to have the skills up there or even higher and you have to make sure that you have these photos in portfolio but if you're just starting out then you will not have any clients you will not have any pictures that will attract clients so that means you have to create them yourself and you have to invest a bit time a lot of time and a bit of money because i didn't have this stuff lying around here so i went outside and bought this maybe some of you have stuff lying around and you can build up beautiful still lives still lives images but what I noticed is that going outside and buy stuff, it's very inspiring to create something new and unique. Create your own magical world, you know? So that is what we're going to do today. So what do we have here? This is the stuff. So how to start? I mean, I just, I thought, and I mean, I, I felt. I wanted to create like a bright summery photo with some pink champagne-ish liquid in some beautiful, you know, this coupe glasses, champagne. Uh, I couldn't find any. I mean, I found some, but they cost like four for $100 and I felt so I went to a second-hand market and found these two cute ones. They're a bit small, but they will do. And this I bought in the, my local superstore. I mean, supermarket. It is a superstore because they have stuff like this too. And then I bought some flowers, brudslöja, and some other pinkish flowers. The plan was to make like a, a bright, summery shot. I can actually show you here the tile. Two glasses, sofa, pillows, curtain, and some light behind it. And then I started to add a bit to get a feeling. This is the vase. And um, I put in some liquid to get a feeling for it. And I was working more and more to get this uh, bright, summery feeling to the shot. Testing a lot. I was thinking maybe I can put in like a shadow here. And then there will be a reflection of this. And also you will see this beautiful tile. But then I, I don't know. Yes, here I went back for that idea again. Darken it down. And then I was starting to add some testing out with some candy, putting in the vase over there. You see, there is a lot of images. I'm just trying and trying and testing uh, out. Now I decide I wanted to have them over there probably. And suddenly, I went dark as usual because it's so beautiful. Oh, backlit liquid. And then I put back a bit of light. I'm trying to get some light on the whiskey so it's not totally dark. You know, let's go to the end here. So, 366 test shots. So, should we take the first shot without any flashes so we will get our black frame. Today I'm using Hasseblad with 80 millimeter lens. Is it 80? 2.880. I have this tilt shift adapter but I don't use it really. It's just so I can get a bit longer lens because uh, I felt 80 millimeter it became distorted so that's why I just put this on so I can get longer focal length and then it will not be distorted. Then you might say, why didn't you put on the 120 millimeter macro lens? Well, biggest aperture is four. 
and this is 2.8 and today I need a bigger aperture I put this on 4 0.8 because this the main the first light you don't even see it it's on maximum power so I need to have this lens I couldn't use the, the macro 120 millimeter but doesn't really matter just put on any lens you know so should we put on the first light the main light is this light coming over there where is it it's there it's over there so let's take a shot boom what do we get? Yeah, it's kind of nice. Let me show you this flash. It's a bit special. It's a multi, multi spot from Profoto. And uh, it has an attachment, optical attachment, so you can put in gobos that makes funny patterns. I don't want to take this out now because I'm set it up like I want to have it. So. But I can show you this. This is, uh, oh, hello. This is a gobo that you put inside like this. And then you will get these patterns. This is very, very nice. And here's another one. It's like a jungle. And then there is this in, I think it's aluminum. And you get these funny patterns. So, maybe I can show you, if I change this, I can make it, if we look at the curtain there, now it's blurry and now it becomes sharper and you can adjust this. So if we put on the sharpest and then we can take the shot again and then we will get a super hard light, I mean harder edges, you see there up to the right. I don't really want that. I want it to be a bit softer. So let's switch back so it's a bit softer. And let's go back to take the, soften up the shadow edges there. It's a bit dark there in the middle. And that's because this curtain is, um, probably is this one. And then we can adjust it a bit. You know, it's all about tweaking and tweaking, and it takes a lot of time to get it perfect. Let's take another one. Yes, it's a bit more random and nice. So, this is the first light. Actually, you know, I think it's almost enough like this. I think it's beautiful, but it's a bit dark. So, I think we should add something on the background, that, like I had in the beginning. I was light. Put light on the background so it's totally bright. Maybe we can tweak it a bit. So let's turn on this flash over there. Do we have some light over there? Yes, I can show you. It's back here. And uh, pro photo flash with a reflector with a honeycomb grid. It's a bit light over there. Let's see what we will get with this light. Now we should get a bit of light on the top left. Mm. The thing is, the thing is that for me, I see that the, the sun comes from the right. And then I add a light on the top left, like there is sun shining or something. So you cannot have two suns, you know, you should really put that one on the right side. But the thing is, it's so dark on the left side there, with the behind the flowers. That's why I'm adding this. So it's actually not correct to do this. You know, you can only have one sun. The light must come from the same direction. Okay, you can have some uh, ref reflecting back, of course. But now it looks, to me, in my head, it looks like two light sources. Maybe. There is something going on here. You see in the center there of the table, it's way too bright from the multi-spot and I need to fix that. I switched, in, turning it around a bit, see if there is something going on. I don't know why this is happening. I'm talking about this. Let's see what happens now. Oh, totally different. This multi-spot, you can like twist it and then you get totally another pattern. <laughs> And actually, I think I like this one better because I like to show these flowers a bit so they're not completely dark. So, the question is, the question, the 
question, the question, the quest, question. Should we add the light from the back? Hmm. Because what you can do, if you would like to have a brighter image, you're just using uh, this third flash, shooting it straight up in the ceiling, comes a huge soft box with a very soft light, bounced light down on the set. Lift up the shadows and make the whole picture brighter without adding any extra shadows because the light is so big so you will not see these soft shadow edges. That's how you brighten up a picture scene. So put on this guy, I put it on quite low power and let's take a shot. Now we have the main multi spot and this one. You see now the whole set starts to lift up, start to, to be brighter. So let's put up one more stop, see how high we can go. Just for fun, I can just, I put it up quite much and you will see, you know. But for me, this is very cute, but it's, uh, it's not for me, it's not my style really. It's nice, of course, but it's just very soft. Hmm. Yeah, I will put this back. We can have it a tiny bit low. I mean, let's put it to number three. So then it will only lift up the shadows a bit. Main light that comes in whoosh, over the scene. It's, uh, it looks like, to me, it looks like direct sun. Quite low in the afternoon, quite yellowish. That means that Probably we should make this one a bit colder. Av en händelse så låg den här. And let's put this on. Because now the ambient light in the room, it's colder, you know. So let's see what happens. If it will lift up a bit of the shadows. Mm, a bit. And especially in the glass, that's probably not so nice. I will put it up to number four. Get some blue stuff going on there. Let's leave it like this, okay? Now, we have to decide, should we have the backlight or not? I will turn it on. The flash back there. Number A, please. On. And let's take a shot. What do we get? The backlight. Boom! There's this line. I think it's kind of... I, it's a sofa. And I left it like this. I think it's kind of add something to the depth. Actually, I was just lazy to take it away, of course. What happens if I twist it a bit to the left, if you look at the image? Because the thing is, we get a nice highlight in the glass. These spots, I don't think they were there before. No. So this um, backlight here, it's, it uh, makes the glass even, even more beautiful. And also we get a bit of the whiskey. So it's not completely black like before. So I think we need to have this. It's about to find the balance between, you know, this ambient overall light. Then we have the main light coming in like crazy, sun. And then we have the back there. It's to find the, ratios. What if I take this down a bit? I take it down and I turn it a bit because I don't want it to take over the whole scene back there. Maybe it's too powerful. What's your name? Flash? Mr. Flash. Are you A? This is what's so fun with photography. You have no idea, you know, I've taken a few images but still I have no idea what to do when I'm doing something new because everything is new all the time, you know. I never set up the lights like this. Okay, sort of. I have uh, some experience, of course, uh, but everything is new, so everything takes a long time. This is, this is how it is. Maybe down a tiny bit. Let's go for this. I think it's kind of nice. Look at this. Uh, this is a bit fun. It's a bit bright, <laughs> but this is like crazy. The reflection from uh, this. And also, I should talk about this bottle, this one. If you look closer to it, I prepared it a bit. As you see here, we have some, it's like frosted, 
put on some matte coating and then I added these drops. This is glycerin and I using one tablespoon of glycerin and one tablespoon of water, just 50-50. And then I use this and I just spray on. And you see they stay like this. Now I accidentally put my fingers on it. You see up here, I destroyed it a bit. So it should make it look a bit cold. So that's what I've done. Yes, what I'm using for this first to make it look frosty, it's a bit expensive solution. I know there's other ones, but this is uh, never wet. <laughs> Step one, base coat and top coat. Step two, and you never get wet. You spray this on uh, shoes and then it don't get wet. The water just so I use the step one, because I don't want the water to go away. Base coat, never wet, okay. There are some things, some things I need to do and make a composite. This uh, small flask over here, small bottle. I need the whiskey, I need to lit up. And I will do that by increase the power of the back flash. And then I will just put that in after. So uh, should we take the final shot? I think so. And then we will add a few extra to combine in Photoshop. So now, first thing I would like to do for an extra image. Oh, actually, I forgot one thing. What is this? Whiskey. Mm -hmm. Woo! Uh, I will fill them up so they kind of same. So this is the final main shot. Now let's add a few shots. First of all, I we think we need to uh, brighten up this whiskey inside this small bottle. So I will increase the power of the flash at the back to the maximum. Hopefully this will be enough. Do we get some light in the whiskey? Mm, a bit. Maybe I'll take off the grid actually. Now there will be a lot of light, but now it's only for the whiskey in the small bottle. Yes. Now we have a bit of light on the whiskey bottle. And one other thing, we get this nasty, cause we're using a very small light source with this main light, this multi-spot, tiny. We get this very nasty reflections, these specular highlights on the vase and on the glasses. So I thought maybe it's good to take one with a bit of diffusion, something like this maybe. I'm talking about this. Can we get, yes, now we got rid of them. And also we had this really nasty, come on, in here. Now it's softened out. Okay guys. There we have the shot for you, for you guys who are still here at the end of the video. Cheers. Oh my God, so nice. Cider, cider from Shivik's Musteri in Skåne, Since 1969, apple cider with raspberries. Not sponsored. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you can learn something from this. I feel that this kind of photography is the hardest to do like a beautiful still life, you know. It's one thing with the light, it's tricky, but eventually you will get there after trying a lot. But the composition and what to put in, what to use, what props, what the whole concept, you know, this is the hard thing, I think. Thank you so much for watching and thank you coffee supporters. You are fantastic supporting this channel, keeping it alive, you know, thank you so much. And as always, see you next time.